Thursday 26th of August 2021. I've been doing a lot of thinking about uh, scouts and leader training, mandatory training, and why we do everything. So I thought I'd take you to a walk into the training ground at Gilwell Park, where the wood badge training started as the symbol of adult leader training. First wood badge course was held in 1919. Then in 2019, 100 years later, there was a heritage wood badge course that was run on this very training ground <coughs> to reenact those traditional values of scouting and what it was all about. And me and a number of colleagues from across the world, Trent Gill Fellows and others, especially American uh, friends that we made, sat and spent a week on this training ground. It's camped just over there. Something in all my adult years in scouting we never did because uh, the, ca the, the camping on the training ground did stop some time ago. There used to be the uh, patrol tents and kitchens over there and many of those disappeared 30, 40 years ago. But anyway, look, I just wanted to, <coughs> I just wanted to say walking on this hallowed turf at Gilwell Park about adult leader training. In North Wales, we're getting an awful lot of pushback at the moment about mandatory training. That's the safeguarding, data protection, first aid, and health and safety. We need to remember that we're all adults looking after children. We all need to be competent and capable to do that. There's a lot of trust looking after little people and delivering the scout program to them. I know it can seem a real nuisance at times having to do that training, but their parents and carers expect that from us. So we need to be properly trained, confident, capable and competent to be able to deliver that quality programme and their skills for life. So as I'm standing here in the middle of the training ground at Gilwell Park, I'll just remind us of why we do this for young people. Many of us have been through Scouts and Guides when we were younger and the value that we give as adult volunteers to those young people through both the Scout Training Programme and the Duke of Edinburgh Awards Scheme is absolutely incredible. But we can't do that if we're not competent and certified. If something goes wrong and we're not properly trained, I needn't remind you of some of the tragic loss of life that's happened not so long ago, which may or may not have been preventable, but if you're trained, you've got the confidence to do it. If you're trained, you're competent. If you're trained, you can show that commitment to our duty and the scout promise and the scout law. And all of it is about our scouting values, about integrity, empathy, kindness. And we need to remember all that. So all this asking you to do mandatory training and everything else is for a purpose and that's to keep you and our young people safe and to make sure you feel confident that you can deliver your role as an adult leader and scouter and especially as well for those that provide the really critical services as trustees on execs being able to look after the groups the districts and even nationally in the things we do because we are a charity at the end of the day and having chairs, secretaries and treasurers that are competent as trustees is equally as important. It's fine when it all goes right but when things go wrong if we've not been properly trained then it lays us wide open. So standing in front of the Gilwell Oak on the training ground just to remind ourselves why we do it and to say on behalf of everybody thank you for what you do and thank you for what you're doing for young people in scouting to deliver skills for life.